We case palliatives on Seto Sokoto PDP. Now to the news in full. The political climate in Sokoto State has become fraught with confusion and tension among members of the People's Democratic Party PDP due to a recent initiative by Yesam Wike, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Wike's move to distribute palliatives to party members has sparked concerns and accusation of ulterior motives, particularly in light of the existing rivalry between him and Aminu Tambowa, the former governor of Sokoto, and a key leader within the PDP. We want to go and start sharing palliative all the way from FCT to Sokoto. Of course, he has an ulterior motive, so it is either they accept it if they want him to start controlling them, or they reject it because Wiki will not give you anything for free. He will never give you anything for free, so he definitely has an ulterior motive to come and distribute palliatives for you people. So it is either you accept it or you say, no, we don't want. Because if he helps you, he will sit down with you and say, yes, you must do my bidding. You must do everything I command you to do. The animosity between Wiki and Tabua dates back to the 2022 PDP presidential primaries, where Tambua strategic withdrawal in support of Atiku Abubaka created a rift within the party. VK, a prominent contender, felt betrayed by Tambua's decision, leading to a fallout that has since shaped their relationship. This tension has become a focal point in the current political atmosphere, with VK's palliative scheme viewed through the lens of this rivalry. Recently, the Advocacy Forum for Good Candidates, a support group within the PDP, reviewed Wiki's plan to distribute palliatives in Sokoto. During the gathering of party supporters, the group's chairman, Alaji Hamad Amade, described the initiative as a means to enhance party cohesion and engage members in productive activities in Aso. Amade, who is popularly called oil and gas in Sokoto, emphasized that the scheme aimed to prevent defections following the party's loss in the 2023 governorship election. Since the party lost the Sokoto governorship election in 2023, some party bigwigs have not been supporting members, especially at the grassroots, Amadi stated. He assured that the initiative was intended to help the party supporter, adding, this initiative was introduced in order to help our people. Now, so, in a chat with Weekend Trust, Amadi explained that during our last meeting with the FCT minister, it was resolved that after we formed the state leadership of the group, we should come back for another meeting on the next line of action to be taken. Now that we have a leadership, we will go back to the minister to continue with our discussion, after which we will return to Sokoto to form leadership in all the 23 local governments of the state. The minister is committed to this project and is ready to release the palliative for distribution to our people. His intention is to help party members. I have confidence in him and that is why I'm also committed to the project. You have confidence in him? Okay, we are seeing you. Ikesha will not do anything to you for free. He definitely wants something in return for helping. Amadi explained that there was nothing wrong if the minister as a party stakeholder decides to assist PDP members, not only in Sokoto but in any state because that signifies his commitment towards making the party stronger. I have said it on several occasions that this project is not meant to create any faction within the PDP, rather to further unite the party. So I am appealing to PDP followers to accept this scheme in good faith as there is nothing like hidden agenda attached to it as suspected by some. Ah, leave them, let them suspect too because now you say eh, she be weak, give you so, 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 so something. So you have to vote for so, so person because it cannot do anything to you for free. For those who are doubting my membership, I think it would be good if they can ask the PDP state chairman about my status. I believe the chairman is in the best position to clarify this issue, he said. Despite these assurances, apprehension among party members is palpable. Many view Wiki's initiative with suspicion, fearing it might excavate existing fractures within the party. This sentiment is felt by a belief that this move is less about support and more about undermining Tambowa's influence in his home state. Some loyalists of Tambowa simply tag the initiative as a Greek gift. This term refers to a gift that is perceived as having hidden motives or aimed at causing harm.
Many in Sokoto speed they view the palliative as a detective, deceptive ta- tactic by Wiki potentially intended to fracture the party further. The fear is that this initiative could deepen the divides between factions aligned with Tambua and those seeking to bolster Wiki's influence in the state. Mixed reactions within the PDP. Generally, the responses to Wiki palliative have mixed have been mixed within the Shokoto PDP. The state party chairman Alajibe Lo Ali Ugorunyo, in a chat with Wiki Trust, expressed uncertainty regarding the scheme, emphasizing that politicians often have their own strategies to, to achieve their goal. I cannot rule out such a move, Gorunyo stated, but all I can say for now, only time can tell whether the SEC minister has sent a palliative to PDP members or not. Former members of the Sokoto State House of Assembly also voiced their doubts on Abdullah Magwandu that said, Sincerely speaking, I only heard about the wicked palliative over the BBC, and I swear to God Almighty, all the people that spoke at the occasion where the news about the palliative broke, I don't know them as members of PDP in Sokoto. Another former state lawmaker, Honorable Baba Kachika Sokoto, echoed his skepticism, stating, We don't have anything like that. But you know in politics, you cannot rule out such things. Efforts to get comments from the faction loyal to Atai Rudaha to Bafawara, another former governor of the state, proved unsuccessful. Political analysts in Sokoto are also interpreting Wiki's action as a calculated attempt to destabilize the PDP in Tambuwa's stronghold. Because everybody knows you, that is where you are. Wiki is still not happy with Tambuwa because of what transpired between them at the PDP National Convention in 2022, he noted. It appears as though Wiki is looking for a way to avenge what Tambuwa did to him, which is possible because this man, he never forgives anybody. He doesn't forgive who. He will not forgive, because that is who he is. However, the prevailing sentiment among many members remain one of distrust, fearing that Wiki's palliative may be more harmful than helpful in the long run.